Hey guys, hope everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving and I want to welcome our newcomers to the Style Squad. So hi, welcome. I want to talk about the spring predicted trends. I want to talk about trend forecasting and how we do those things. If you follow me on TikTok, I went into it just a teensy little bit, but here we can go more in depth and that's why we're here, right? I also just realized um, my vacuum's in the background, so that's keeping it real over here, aren't we? So let's talk about trend forecasting. Let's talk about why it's important. Let's talk about how we do it and all those fun things. So you know trends, we've talked about them. Trends come out every season and people are always going to predict, predict what's going to be the next big seller, right? So how people do that is they look at five different things. Colors, shapes, world events that are going on, target market, and a theme. So in this case, if you see these things happen more than one time on a runway show, so let's say you watch the Dior show and then you watch the Gucci show, then they have both yellow suits. Gucci has a yellow suit right now in the store. You go, oh, I think yellow and suits are going to be the next trend. If that happens more and more, then that's how we can kind of predict things. So when it comes to COVID time, when it comes to Corona time, we always wonder like, I wonder as a fashion enthusiast, if you will, for lack of a better word, what would this have looked like if COVID were not a thing? Because we saw the first fashion week post Corona in 2020. So we saw it in September, everything was virtual, everything was uh, COVID compliant. And the you can really tell that being locked down is starting to affect designers and their trends that they are choosing. Bo and Arrow have decided to join us yet again. <laughs> So with COVID, with everyone being shut down, with everyone staying home and with everyone working from their computers, much like we're doing right now, there is a huge focus in dressing from the waist up. So a lot of these things that are coming out right now have big statement sleeves or have some bright colors and patterns, pretty much anything that we've talked about in here, dressing from the waist up. So you're gonna see blazers with big statement shoulder pads. You're going to see shirts with the big kind of puffy detail, which we've already seen already. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that. The other thing that we're seeing a ton of is knitwear. Now what's been really interesting about Fashion Week post Corona is that the, the stuff that we're seeing is actually very wearable. So I think for those of you in the group, I know a lot of you guys don't follow trends and a lot of you guys don't really play into normal fashion world, but fashion world, so like the runway shows and everything else, is going to be a really great kind of roadmap as to what you're going to be able to get in your department stores at home. And what also is going to be on the resale market fairly quickly. So I'm seeing a ton of knitwear because it's stuff that we can wear at home. It's stuff that's really comfortable. I'm also seeing very bright, very bold colors. And I think because a lot of people just want to kind of wear something that makes them feel like they're alive. The other thing I'm noticing is statement jewelry is coming back. Remember we talked about our statement earrings for our Zoom meetings and our dates on Zoom. They are becoming a huge thing again. So we can start taking out those tassel earrings that we've had and anything else that just kind of makes you smile. The other thing, and I'm actually wearing a pair right now, are power pants. These are a wide leg pant. You can't tell how wide they are. I'm also wearing a statement sleeve, so I guess I'm just so trendy right now. But the wide leg pant, because they are extra comfortable, we're seeing Harry Styles wear a bunch of them, and they're going to be everywhere. So we're not going to see an end of the mom jean. We're not going to see an end of any of these high high-waisted kind of baggy pants because they're comfortable. We don't want to have something constrictive on while we're sitting in front of our computer, am I right? So those are going to be everywhere right now. The other thing for spring 2021, I'm seeing a ton of trench coats, something that you can just throw on and go out and it's classic and you don't have to worry about it. Classic staple pieces are really making a comeback in a lot of these fashion houses. And if that's your jam, I know some of the girls in here do love a classic staple, that's gonna be for you too. On the flip side of that, I'm also seeing a lot of statement coats because people want to be able to have on jeans and a t-shirt and to throw on something that makes them feel really happy and just, you know, like to be alive. Uh, I actually did that yesterday. I put on my big fake furry coat from the 70s and ran some errands and just felt so fabulous in it. The last but not least that we're seeing for spring, florals for spring, groundbreaking. Uh, and why we're seeing that is because people typically tend to associate spring with floral. But with all of these, what I'm really wanting to focus on with you guys is having, I want you guys to really think about what is going to be sustainable. What is actually going to be something that you want to wear long term? What is something that you are going to be 
really invested in wearing. What are you going to pull out of your closet in 2021 that makes you happy to be alive? The other thing I want us to think about long term, I want us to think about not only buying things for COVID, because I think a lot of people are just so stuck in buying things for COVID, they forget that there will be life after COVID. I want you to think about those things that are going to make you happy and that are going to make you smile when we're able to leave and when we're able to do those fun things. So think about the concerts you want to go to. What are you wearing for those? Think about all of these things and don't buy just for lockdown. We know what happens when we buy just for lockdown. You end up with a closet full of sweatpants and nothing to wear. Uh, guys, I want to know what you're going to be buying in 2021. I'm going to do a little video of what I'm getting for 2021. I just actually stocked up for Small Business Saturday and I purchased a big purple furry coat because I need to feel something. And also some new sunglasses. I purchased some new shirts and some new jeans that I know that I just kind of needed to refresh my my staples but I got a couple other things too that I'll happily show you um, I'm also going to be doing new year session so everyone in this group will get a one hour session with me so if you want to go ahead and get on the books for those please do we can tackle your new year's resolutions together and I hope you guys have an awesome 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 day I love you so much